Most people think that creatine is just for lifting heavier weights or building muscle, but it's far more than that. It just might be the most affordable, most well-studied longevity supplement available because creatine checks more longevity boxes than almost anything else you can buy. Today, we're gonna to talk about five reasons why, and at the end of this video, we'll talk about how much to take. We'll start with energy stability as you age. Aging is largely an energy problem, and research shows creatine can help. A 2025 review published in Frontiers in Nutrition described creatine as the guardian of cellular bioenergetics. What in the world does that mean? As we get older, our mitochondria struggle. ATP production becomes less stable, and that instability shows up as fatigue, brain fog, slower recovery, and inconsistent performance both mentally and physically. Creatine works by increasing phosphocreatine, which acts as a rapid response energy buffer. When your cells are under stress, metabolic stress, oxidative stress, even normal demands of daily living, creatine helps prevent ATP from crashing. What that means in daily life is fewer energy dips, more consistent workouts, better mental stamina, and less crashing at two o'clock in the afternoon. Now, creatine doesn't make energy. It stabilizes energy. And that's what matters most as we age. Research shows creatine is not just for gym bros. And this really gets interesting. The same scientific review explained that muscle isn't just for movement. It's an endocrine organ. Your muscles release signaling molecules like BDNF, irisin, and IGF-1 that directly support brain health, cognition, and neuroprotection. When creatine improves muscle function, your muscles send stronger signals to the brain. That's why you often notice better mood, sharper focus, and mental clarity when you're exercising consistently, and especially when you feel strong. That grounded, capable feeling isn't just an exercise high, it's muscle to brain communication and creatine amplifies that. Two of the biggest drivers of age-related decline are muscle loss and bone loss, sarcopenia and osteopenia. A narrative review in the Journal of Clinical Medicine looked at creatine supplementation in older adults and found more lean muscle gain when combined with resistance training, improved strength and physical performance, reduced fall risk markers, and potential protection against bone mineral loss. So how does that work? Creatine allows faster energy regeneration during muscle contraction. That lets you maintain training and intensity and volume the main drivers of muscle preservation as you age. It also influences muscle growth signaling pathways, meaning creatine doesn't just help your, it doesn't just help you train harder, it also helps your body respond better to that training. The reason that is so important is because muscle mass strongly predicts longevity in the following ways. Better insulin sensitivity, higher metabolic rate, better balance and stability, and greater physical resilience. Creatine also shows early evidence of reducing oxidative stress and muscle protein breakdown, both contributors to chronic inflammation and accelerated aging. Before we continue, I have a question for you. Do you take creatine? If so, how much do you take? How long have you been taking it? When do you take it? And what have been your results? I'd love to hear about it, so please let me know in the comments below. Thank you. I've been using the Hume Health Body Pod for the last few months, and man, I love this thing. I use it mainly to measure my weight, muscle mass, body fat percentage, and visceral fat. And the cool thing is it's 98% accurate compared to DEXA, and I don't have to schedule an appointment. I can measure my body fat percentage any time I want, and I love that. It's so cool. Now, it can do a whole lot more than that. It can measure more than 40 different biometrics, but those are the four that me personally that I like to focus on. And I've noticed recently that this has become a very good tool for for holding me accountable to following through on my exercise and watching my nutrition plan a little bit more closely because you see that number and that number does not 
lie. I found it to be very helpful and sometimes a little frustrating. Sometimes it's a little brutal to see the number and you haven't moved the needle much. If you want to try a Hume Health Body Pod, I have a link for you down below. You can save 15% and that discount will stack on any sale that they might be having. So whatever the sales price is, you can get an additional 15%. Also, if you have an HSA or an FSA, you can use it to pay for this. It's a qualified expense. And in some cases, your health insurance will cover it. That is awesome. But you have to check with your provider on that. It's become very helpful for me and I hope it'll help you. Now let's talk about creatine and how it helps with brain aging. A 2023 systematic review in Nutrition Reviews examined randomized controlled trials on creatine and memory, and the results were clear. Creatine was shown to improve multiple forms of memory, and the benefits were much larger in older adults than in younger adults. Why? because cognitive aging is largely an energy issue. Your brain needs constant ATP, and mitochondrial function declines as you age, as we talked about earlier. Neurons become more vulnerable to energy dips. Creatine increases brain creatine stores, giving neurons immediate energy access and greater resilience. To put it simply, Creatine helps reduce brain fog, improve mental endurance, and stabilize cognition especially under stress. The next one is surprising for most people. Creatine and biological age. A 2025 study in lifestyle genomics looked at dietary creatine intake in nearly 5,000 people and compared it to epigenetic aging clocks like Grim Age, which is an epigenetic age test based on DNA methylation and measuring changes in your DNA over time. Higher creatine intake was associated with lower predicted mortality risk and more favorable epigenetic aging profiles. Your body uses a large amount of methyl groups to produce creatine internally. When you consume creatine, you spare those methyl groups supporting DNA and epigenetic stability, which are key processes in biological aging. When we combine that, with improved energy stability, reduced oxidative stress, and better mitochondrial function, Creatine starts to look less like just a gym supplement for bodybuilders and more like a super supplement for longevity. So if you decide to supplement with creatine, how much should you take? We're gonna make this very, very simple. Five grams per day is enough for most people. 10 grams or more may provide additional brain benefits, especially over 40. I take 10 grams per day and I get my creatine from Do Not Age. I have a link for you down below. If you're interested, you could save some money. Now you also don't need to worry about things like loading or cycling. Current research shows that that's not necessary. Consistency matters most. Take it daily, even on the days where you don't exercise. So even on your rest days, take your creatine. Pair it with resistance training for improved benefits. Creatine is so much more than just trying to gain muscle and improve athletic performance. Creatine supports energy buffering, muscle brain communication, muscle and bone health, cognition, inflammation control, mitochondrial resilience, and even markers of biological aging. It's not just a gym supplement. It's a longevity strategy.